Hello everyone, this is Neil Jackman here from Abata Heritage and the Hellfire Club Archaeology Project and we've just had our first great week up at the Hellfire Club. We're carrying out a small dig on what's believed to be a large 5,000 year old passage tomb that was largely destroyed when William Connolly had the Hellfire Club built, originally as a hunting lodge in around 1725. With the excavation, we hope to establish just how much of the tomb survives, and if possible to retrieve some bone or charcoal from a prehistoric context that, so we can radiocarbon date the site to find out exactly how old it is, and that helps us to compare it then to other passage tombs like Newgrange or Mouth or the Great Tombs in Sligo. Since we started digging on Tuesday, we've opened a 15 metre by 2 metre trench across the tomb to have a look at the preservation and to get a sense of the type of soils and contexts. Everything must be dug by hand, using spades, shovels, mattocks and trowels, so it can be a bit of a slow and painstaking job. In the uppermost layers, as you can imagine, we found lots of evidence of people picnicking and partying throughout the years. But among the beer cans and plastic rubbish, we also found some nicer finds, like a clay tobacco pipe from around the 1850s that has a bird's claw, or perhaps a dragon's claw if you're more of a Game of Thrones fan. You can also still see the maker's mark on the stem, so hopefully we might be able to discover what factory made the pipe and when. As we progress with the dig, we discovered that the large mound you can see so clearly in the aerial photographs is actually man-made. It looks to be constructed of rubble and earth. We're still at an early stage with this feature, so we hope to have a better understanding by next week. That large stony layer that you can see near the end of the trench appears to be the stony covering of the cairn that had slipped down the mound. It's quite a mixed context with some more modern finds within it, so it might be partly the result of disturbance of the tomb in more modern times. Excitingly, we've also found waste fragments from the manufacture of stone tools, consistent with what you might expect from a site that dates the Neolithic period, over 5,000 years ago. The weather has been extremely kind to us, as has the large number of locals who have stopped by for a chat to see what we're doing. A number of the local schools have also paid us a visit, like Rockbrook Park and Ballyroan Boys National School, and we're looking forward to helping Tala Community School in their project to uncover the stories and folklore about the Hellfire Club. The Hellfire Archaeological Project is carried out by Abata Heritage and volunteers from UCD School of Archaeology, with funding from South Dublin County Council and support from Quilcher. Please do come up and visit the dig to discover our latest findings. We're on site from Monday to Friday from 9am till 4pm. You can also keep up with us on our website at abataheritage.ie.